Hey, good morning. This is Tony. I have here this uh, new spectrum analyzer with a uh, tracking generator. So uh, we're just gonna see if it's any good. The package from Bang Good this time. Um, it is the spectrum analyzer which is cool because usually the spectrum analyzers are around uh, 1500 euros and here we have one for 50 so <laughs> let's see if it's uh, any good well, it seems it's uh, nicely packaged um, the button is a bit loose let's see what is that Ah uh, yes, that is the problem, it just crashes the button, okay let's see, I will open that up and see what we can do. I was able to uh, fix it. The plastic just pushed the back of the switch completely back and the metal plate that is behind I found somewhere in the box still so uh, it does seem to work now I, I couldn't glue it but I just uh, pinched these together and well, the sound is like it should be working again and it's kind of stuck so I think uh, this will uh, be it so Put it back together. Let's see if we can find the drivers and install it on the computer. Now going to the website. Okay, we have here the looks like our machine. Here is the software we need. Specifications. Okay, minimum, maximum input is 10 dBm. So we need to be careful with that and the. Minimum input should be minus 60 dBm. Software we need is in WT41109, Windows 10, and here is the link to the software. Okay, so let's download and install. Okay, uh, I unzipped the, unzip the file and well, now we can see what we need to do. What is this? They have the schedule diagram and the components. That is nice. Give mm, me zoom. Okay. Oh, inputs. Some DC coupling, 50 ohms. Okay, this input. We have here the tracking generator 50 ohms okay so it's all for the 50 ohm system that is okay what are our instructions okay bilingual instructions it does have some English also so that is good uh, tracking device. okay Here it says 5 dB on the board, so let's see what's on our board, because I remember from the documentation it said 10. This is the software we need, it probably is supplied with it. It runs on Win and D4. Okay. Yes, here it says 10 dBm again. Okay. Tracking source. Okay. Install the computer software and install the driver. Well, I usually start with the drivers, so let's see, and then we start the software. Okay, let's see. We just keep the document open. I prefer to always do the driver first. Install. Okay. The drive. 
if not a driver, okay. I prefer the English. Okay, that uh, went very smooth. Well, let's go. They did give me a USB cable. So I'm now just uh, connecting it. See, don't break it. It's very fragile. No, the button seems to be working again. I'm not sure what it is for. Maybe to switch on and off the tracking generator. And we just put it in one of the USB in the front. I don't hear a sound. Let's, uh, yes, that's better. Okay. Yes, it did create an extra port and my sound is off. That explains a little bit why I didn't hear sound. And it says it is connected to COM3. It says the CH340. Well, that seems to be... Okay, let's see where we were here. Yeah. 340. And it was copied to the desktop. Expect to, yes, yeah. We probably need to do this. What else we need to do before I skip too many steps? Here we check on four, click settings. Okay, that's what we did. Okay, that uh, does seem to work. I'm, uh, I've put on uh, a little antenna and I uh, connected it to the spectrum analyzer and I have my little radio and I will be transmitting on 144-800 and as you can see we put 140 megahertz to 150 megahertz and as you can see here we are scanning I can enlarge maybe the scan okay Let's put the transmitter, oops, and it does seem to work. We do have a spectrum, and oh. I have here this uh, triplex filter, and uh, I like to check if the tracking generator is working. So what I did, I uh, switched on the tracking generator by uh, pushing once this button, then the blue light goes on, and then uh, instead of only scanning a certain frequency, it also transmits on the same frequency. So the tracking generator and the frequency analyzer, our uh, spectrum analyzer, are, are sweeping on the same frequency. And this way you can test the frequencies of filters. So what I did on the output, I connected the antenna connection. And on this output, I should have... 1.6 to uh, to 160 without any uh, attenuation. So, uh, what does that look like if we do that in the in the scan? So we switch on tracking generator. Blue light is on. I'm scanning from 50 to 400 megahertz. And let's do a single sweep. And here you see. So instead of what I see here, um, it should go to 160 and the other one should pick up at 350, but we are here on the first connection. So what we see here is that here is the first drop 
Yeah, that is not the 160 as it said, it, it drops here. Here is the hardest drop, and that is uh, minus 10 dB, 270 MHz. And then you have a second drop, and then it goes completely down, very low, minus 90 dB, which is a lot, a lot. So now we know the dynamics of this uh, filter that it actually doesn't cut off at 160 but it starts a little bit to cut off at 250 and then at 270 it really cuts uh, off so let's see where the other filter starts because that one should start at uh, 350 and uh, until 500 let's see if that is the case on the second connection it should be 350 to 500 so let's check if that is the case uh, we do a single sweep between 200 and 800 so single sweep okay and there you see it's just below 300 and it cuts off around 700 and on the third port it should go from 850 to 1300 and I just did a single sweep from uh, 200 megahertz to 2.8 gigahertz and you can see here it well it, it, it's 700 if I should get it goes it starts and then it goes to way up to 2.4 gigs so but um, if you look at this this filter is made for the frequencies of the ham radio so uh, in that sense the uh, the, the 23 centimeters, the 70 centimeters, and the 2 meter bands will, will not hit, so the filter uh, works fine. So, that's uh, one way to test your filters is uh, with this little uh, tracking generator. It, uh, for what I have seen now, it, it works nice. If you, if you want uh, proper uh, calculated dBs, then you uh, first need to do uh, your uh, calibration which I didn't do because I just wanted to make a, a quick uh, check I found it uh, very easy to install drivers just work immediately software just starts uh, and the manual is uh, partly uh, Chinese partly English but uh, yeah it didn't take me too long to get it started also working with the tracking generator uh, yeah as, as you could see I just had my little uh, a little test on the table and uh, it, it was all done in less than, than 50 minutes and we just checked the whole filter so I think uh, it's good value for money there is also an option to save your uh, graphs in a PDF format which I did now so that's it uh, there was a very quick review of the spectrum analyzer with the tracking generator if you like my video you can put a thumbs up and if you want to be updated for my other new videos then you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching